Okay, I'm here on step 11 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web designs. Third project, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set our the class or use the class marker that we, we just created in the last step to um, and set the background color to red. We're not going to see anything right now because if we look here, we just have a div called marker. It has no height or width. So um, everything that it's applying to is just it's invisible because it's not there. There's no height or width. But right here, we're going to actually change the height and width. So if we think about a marker, we're trying to create a marker here. Um, markers are really wide and they're really thin. So, or really tall and um, not that wide. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make horizontal markers. So we're going to set the width to 200 pixels. Still can't see anything because there's no height. But if we had the height to 25 pixels, now we have this marker-like shape. Okay, so part of the issue right now is the marker is not centered. It doesn't look that great. So we can set margin top to auto, margin bottom auto, margin right auto, and margin left auto. So this is a lot of typing, and there is a shorter way to do this. We're going to fix it later, but if you do remember how to do it, I would say uh, go ahead um, and save yourself some typing. But we'll get to that later. Okay, so we don't just want one marker. If we remember the preview, there's three markers. So we're just copy and paste this div, and now we have three markers. Oh, wait, but now they're all just one stack? What do we do? Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add um, in the marker class. We're going to have to, oh, if you saw here, they actually they fix it for us. So instead of doing margin top, margin uh, bottom, margin left, margin right. If they're all the same, you can just use margin and then that one value is applied to everything. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is actually change that margin. So the 10 pixels right here that we're gonna add just affects the top and the bottom. So now the auto, so the first, if you have two things, the first one will affect top and bottom and the second one will affect left and right. So we're still centered in the middle but we have some spacing so we can see that there's actually three markers and not just one. So the next thing we're going to realize is, hey, we don't want just three red markers. We want them to be different colors. So we're going to add the class 1 to this first div. And so you can have more than one class to CSS. It's very common to have multiple classes. And you can see in this example, all you have to do is add a space, and that's how you separate, okay, we have one class that's marker and one that's called 1. But if we did marker 1 like this, then the class would actually be called marker 1. So since we added the space, um, we know what's going on. So the next thing, we don't want all the markers to be red, so let's de delete that background color element that affects everything. So we're actually going to want to be more specific. So we can just affect all markers of class 1, and then all of them will have the background color of red. Okay, so next um, we're going to add the class 2 and the class 3 to our other two divs. Um, and so um, now we can set colors for the, each of those. So the first one we did was two, and we want to set that color to green. So background color green, three, and then blue. And now we have our three different colors, red, green, and blue, RGB. And there we go.